So let's set the scene here. This is my Marlin kit car and it's got an MGB engine in it with the uh, twin carb setup. And um, I think it's a fairly old engine and I was definitely not sure whether it had a hardened uh, exhaust seat uh, valve seats. So I uh, found this guy on the internet who was selling a cylinder head that he said was reconditioned very recently and had hardened seat valves in it and so I bought it off him he was a very nice chap and I trusted him and I've put that cylinder obviously I checked that cylinder head and I've uh, before I put it on but I whipped the old one off and put this one on and uh, well it uh, doesn't seem to be going very well uh, I'll show you now Hopefully. Doing this, uh, oh, there you go, spitting back through the carburetor and switching it off. So as you just witnessed, this engine's not running well, very well at all, to say the least. Um, and it's actually blowing pressure back through the, the rear carb carb number two. I did do a compression test on this uh, engine. Uh, and cylinders one and two are up about 150 PSI, which is pretty good. But cylinders 3 and 4 down at about 65, both of them quite consistent. So it's either a failed head gasket or both 3 and 4 have got burnt out valves. Either way, pressure is getting back out of the inlet and blowing through the carburetor. So it's a cylinder head off time and we'll see what the problem is. Fortunately, on old cars like this, whipping off the cylinder head is a really easy thing to do. I reckon I'll have it done in one hour. Uh, to prove that, I'm going to do a little time lapse now. So I'm about to embark on my one hour challenge, get the cylinder head off. I've, uh, I have actually drained the coolant down at the bottom, admittedly. It was a bit of a boring crap job and I couldn't be asked to film it so uh, a slight cheat but basically carbs off manifold off uh, a few pipes to undo and then undo the cylinder and off it should pop so I'm going to start now it begins
Now, I was hoping for some sort of evidence of a gasket fail, but there isn't. Uh, the bores are, are okay, you can see the honing marks, so I'm afraid my attention turns to the cylinder head. These are the two that were proving troublesome. Um, you can see the inserts in there. I'm going to have to take those valves off. And have a look at the seats. Okay, so I've taken a couple of the valves off. Um, the seats are okay, there's no real evidence of burning or something on that one. But uh, I did this, and don't know if you can see that, but oh dear, we have got a slight warp on the head. So that will be our problem.